Your plans, your dreams are so much greater. Your timing, you keep, it's always better. So when I'm feeling weak, your strength is always perfect. So I'm holding on, cause I know it will be worth it. So I'm waiting. I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting, I'm waiting I'm gonna keep on waiting With my whole side and you got I'm gonna trust in you And while I'm waiting I believe that you are never me cornhole. Duh. <laughs> and I'm really good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. We got together. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm John, he's Brandon, and I hope you're ready for an exciting show. Hey, you're probably wondering why we're dressed like this. Why would they be wondering that? Well, as soon as we're through with the show, John and I are headed to a spring break backyard bash. Yeah, that's right. A friend of ours named Tater Tot. Oh, his real name is Tim, but he's gone by Tater Tot his entire life. No idea why. Yeah, yeah, but Tater Tot knows how to throw a backyard party. He's yeah. an incredible cook. Smoked turkey legs. Smoked sausage. Corn on the cob. Ooh. Oh, and he also always has fun games to play. Oh yeah, do you remember when we played uh, bobbing for onions instead of bobbing for apples? Yeah, yeah. My eyes burned like crazy and I couldn't see through the tears for a week. <laughs> it was amazing. Or that time we played tortilla slap, but instead of tortillas, we used giant fly swatters. Oh. Um, all that to say, John and I are really excited about the cookout. Mm -hmm. How many times have I told you to put your phone on silent during this show? We can't do a it's show. It's tater tot. Oh, never mind. Let's see what he says. Yeah. Uh, he says, sorry guys, it looks like the weather's about to get bad. The weather! No! Canceled! Move to next week! No! What are we gonna do now? We've already waited a month. I don't wanna wait another week. Uh, it's not like we can throw the party ourselves. True. No, false. What, you think we can throw a spring break backyard barbecue? Of course. Well, it would have to be inside because it does look nasty out there. 
But it can't be that hard. If Tater Tot can do it, so can we. Uh, uh, okay. What? Let's have a spring break inside barbecue. say, Brandon, these games are kind of lame by ourselves. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Hey, why don't we try the barbecue? Yeah! All right. Wait, pull. This isn't working, is it? I'm afraid not. I guess the truth is no one can throw a backyard barbecue like tater tot. True. I guess we're just gonna have to be patient and wait until next week. Yeah, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> I don't wanna eat this chicken. Me either. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Well, I don't know if you can call what you just did fun, but at least it was entertaining. Well, that's one word for it. But we should have just been patient and waited on tater tot. Not gonna argue with you. Waiting is hard, isn't it? You can say that again. Waiting is hard. And a lot of the times while we wait, we start thinking about the wrong thing. We begin to focus on what we're missing instead of what we can look forward to. And today's story is about exactly that. And I would love some help if you guys wouldn't mind. On it. Have fun. Perfect. It's time once again for live action flannel graph. Today's story focuses on Moses and the Israelites. Now this happened after the Israelites escaped slavery from the Egyptian King Pharaoh. Moses led all of the Israelites to a place where they could camp. And while they were camping, Moses went up on a mountain to talk to God. I'm climbing up the mountain. Oh, here I go. Oh, I'm so old. Oh. Ah, I made it. Ah. While he was there, God gave Moses two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments carved into them. So this was a pretty important hiking trip. Meanwhile, though, the Israelites at the bottom of the mountain thought Moses was taking way too long. Moses is taking too long. We need a new God. That's right. These were the same Israelites who were saved from slavery by God and led out of Egypt by Moses. And now they didn't have the time for God and Moses to have a little chit chat. So the people gathered around Aaron, Moses' brother, who was like, he was like second in command. And they told him what they wanted which was a new God. You want me to do what? Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, what's that? A pterodactyl? Uh -huh. 
We see you. Moses let us out of Egypt, and now he's gone. You have to do something. Get back over here, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, get get over here. Come on over here. Are you talking to me? So, Aaron did exactly what you think a second in command would do. Actually, no. He did the exact opposite. Sure. Give me all your gold. I'll make something. All the gold. All the gold. Thank you. Thank easy now. Okay, easy. Oh, that's heavy. Easy. Hey, okay. Okay, thank you. Yes, I've got this under control. Ow, 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 ow. That's so heavy. Oh, am, ooh, wow. Am I rich? Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Over here. Okay, and we are stockpiling all the gold. E easy. I said easy. I said stop. Not so hard. One, two, three, four, five. One more. There it is. Now. now. Let me get to work. So Aaron melted down the gold and molded it into a golden calf. Look, everyone. It's a golden calf. Come on, everyone. Let's dance. <laughs> Why aren't you dancing? Wait, you're supposed to be dancing. Come on, Jediah, you love to dance. Let's dance! <laughs> Come on, you guys, it looks weird if I'm the only one dancing. The Israelites, all of them, dance wildly before this golden calf. And of course, God, the real one, when he saw what they were doing, it made him angry. Moses pleaded with God to have mercy on them, which God did. So Moses took the Ten Commandments back down the mountain and told them to knock it off. Whoa, Moses, sup? Ooh, I am so mad. I could, I could, I could break the Ten Commandments. See what you made me do? Urgh. I am hopping mad. Urgh. Urgh. You done hopping? Ah! Okay, now I'm done. It was them. They scared me. I tried to run away like this. See? Speed. I speed. I so fast. I speed. I speed. 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 And then they told me I had to do it. So I took all the gold and I threw it into the fire. And out popped this calf. Tell them, Jediah. Well. Why are you so mad at me? Well, let's just say after that, things did not go really well for the Israelites. Moses had the calf burned, grounded into a powder, mixed into drinking water, and then had the people drink it. Later, Moses went back up the mountain and returned with another set of the Ten Commandments that he did not break. The end. Whew. Let's give our flannel graphers a big round of applause. So being patient isn't easy, right? It's one of those things that we have to constantly work on. But the Israelites got caught in a trap. They started focusing on what they were missing, Moses, and they forgot all about what God had done for them. And they weren't thinking about the amazing plans God had for them. It happened to the Israelites, and it can happen to you and me if we don't remember what is true, that God loves us and that he is always with us. We forgot what was true today. Yeah, we tried to make a thrown together backyard party when we knew no one throws a party like tater tot. It happened fast. It does, it happens fast. But that's why you have to constantly think about what is true and what is right and be okay with waiting until later for what we want right now. It's tough, but I know you can do it. 
So until next time. Bye. Thanks, Kellen. Well, reveal the question. Well, what can you think about when it's hard to wait? Well, like for this spring break party, instead of being miserable that we have to wait, maybe we could think about all the great memories we've made in the past. Yeah, and, and the new ones that we'll make at the next one. Yeah, or if you're waiting on something hard, like if you're waiting to feel better after you've been sick, yeah. you can help take your mind off things by focusing on your favorite book or your favorite episode of this show. <laughs> oh, mine's the one where you fall down. That could be any of them. That's true. Now, you can also think of all the ways God has shown up in your life in the past. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we, we should have focused on everything we enjoy about Tater Tots Cookout instead of the fact that we weren't getting to go. That's true. Uh, we should probably appreciate Tater Tot a little more, too, instead of just trying to replace him. What? We, we can't replace Tater Tot. I think today we proved that you are right. We <laughs> cannot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's from Tater Tot. Oh. The weather's clearing up. The party's back on! What? <laughs> we'll see you next week for a brand new show! Yeah, let's go, let's go, come on! Some onions. Yeah, oh, not me. I don't. Ah, it's still raining! Oh, I lied to hold on to that metal post! Well, I don't know if what you did, we could go back to. Don't like this, I don't like the sentence. I. <laughs> yes, nice. <sighs> Sounded great. I oh. Why do you... you want an onion? Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, got it. It's good.